Obstetrics is the only discipline in medicine where you go from babies and nice soft light to a mash unit within seconds. And you have to be able to turn on a dime or you're not going to have good outcomes. Prompt is about training the teams to get those good outcomes. And for the first time ever, no other simulation training course has shown consistent improvements in patient outcomes until prompt. We're changing how things have been done for centuries. Physicians train with other physicians. Nurses train with other nurses. Surgical technicians train with other surgical technicians. Clerks train with clerks, but we don't work that way. We work as a team and it's a dramatic success. At the same time, the average age of our obstetricians has dropped from 57 to 40 years old. So it isn't that suddenly we have all these wise, gray hair old folks doing all the work. It's not true. We have state-of-the-art, well-trained, but young obstetricians who are getting outcomes that are among the best. And the results have blown us away, far better than we expected. So we train everyone to know everyone else's roles. And when that happens, if someone hesitates, there's always someone there to boost them up and move things along. Effective teams make less mistakes. They are more quick in getting things done. When you work in obstetrics, seconds literally are life and death. When you have a baby that's stuck, there's not a lot of room. And so they get to practice. And you would think, oh, this is hokey. It's a little doll. It's a, uh, a plastic pelvis. No, all of their peers are watching them perform. They take it seriously. We are not only leading the nation, we're now training the nation. So we have trained about eight outside hospitals so far, and we are now holding courses for hospitals to send their teams to if they would like to bring prompt back to where they are. And we hope they will, because having better outcomes is not only good for patients, it's not only good for the doctors, it's not only good for hospitals, it's good for all of society. The legs will go up just like they would if we were having a delivery, but and there's actually muscles inside to provide resistance. But different from most women is you turn it around and it's empty there. And this and, is where the baby goes. And the baby will go through here. And so we don't have we need some oil. Usually we have to oil the babies up, but we simply deliver them down here, and they deliver out through the vagina. And we would just push. Again, I don't have the lubricant to push, so I don't want to damage it. And then, when we do something, anterior shoulder is caught. We have them slide their hand in underneath here, fi find the anatomically correct arm, <laughs> and bend the elbow up and then bring it up across the face. And once you deliver that shoulder, the rest of the baby just falls out. 